Hey guys, Les here. It's an early morning. It was earlier, earlier, in the sense that I was loading this pretty much from 6 a.m., which isn't crazy, actually, as far as event rentals go. Sometimes it gets way earlier than that. And anyhow, I just wanted to take up... Uh, uh, you see, it's way, way too early. Anyway, this is my first take and my last take, if you know what I mean. But guys, I just wanted to show you the trailer here. Now, we don't have a perfect setup at all by any means because, I mean, we really don't have uh, like much, many attachment points and that's something that we really need to change. Uh, we try not to really use the trailers. Uh, we try to use the vans instead and uh, transit, rented transit vans and rented Q vans with power tailgates, they're ideal. But sometimes, I mean, I own the trailer so it's kind of cheap we don't have to rent anything. Anyways, let's take a quick gander here. We got the 20 by 20 in there. We got this uh, eight foot tables. I'm not uh, 40 tables here. Now we still need a 20 by 20 box here. That's uh, the box here. I'll show you. That holds all our 20 by 20 tent stuff. And we still need the bag. Um, and I'm just waiting for uh, my guy to come by. Um, because uh, he's gonna help me. It's much easier with two guys just to, they both, both of those things have handles. And so the 20 by 20 will go right here and then the, uh, the canvas will go right there. That will sort of support uh, both these tables and these chairs further. You got two propane tanks for the grill and for the patio heater. I'm gonna secure it a bit better. Right now I just have it sort of wedged in there and it's sort of wedged in here. We got the big weights. We got a tough couple tablecloths and stuff like that in the actual truck. Um, but anyways, that's the setup there. Um, all the 20 by 20 poles are underneath this uh, sort of wedged in here. Let me show you. Uh, so that those are the walls and then the poles are to the right there. Uh, maybe I'll give you a quick gander. There are the poles. So I did a quick... Uh, Time lapse. Check that. Check that out on my Instagram page. I'll post that there, of me just loading this uh, fairly quickly. I mean, we still got some time this morning, so I'm not in a crazy rush. Try to arrive early if I can. Um, so yeah, check out the time lapse. It is like some other guy comes in between to pick up some chairs, like a client who's just picking up. I told him we're not here really here on Saturday because of the holidays. Um, but he can come early in the morning and that's what he did. So yeah, this is like a $1,500 rental, a 20 by 20 tent, some chairs, tables, uh, heater. The, this grill I got is finally gonna be used and uh, the music box as well. We'll try to do the time-lapse of uh, this grill here. It's a little portable grill. The one thing I forgot is something to put underneath the grill so like grease and stuff doesn't burn the table. So I don't quite know what to do about that. I'll try to figure something out. Oh, <laughs> I shouldn't forget, I'm gonna double check. Guys, couple tips. This is a good opportunity for a couple tips. First of all, really easy ones. When you have like uh, feet like this, it's much easier to remove them when this is on this end rather than way over there because it's gonna get caught. So always keep like anything like that on uh, on the pullout end. Same with this, the open part of this bag, because the one part is open, is on the other side. If you had it on this side, you'd be pulling it and the item inside would be coming out of the bag. So that's an easy, uh, easy loading tip um, right there. And uh, what else? I think that's it. Guys, take it easy. It's a, just a short video. We're starting to get really busy which is great, fantastic. See you later. Let's get some business done. Sub to the channel.